Welcome to Electron Line. As it always is in math or science, whenever you do problems, you have to recognize what we're dealing with here. We're adding double digit numbers, but in this case, what you will notice is if you look at the last two digits, the last digit here and the last digit there, when you add those together, you get a number bigger than 10. Again, if you add 5 plus 9, that gives you a number bigger than 10. Add 6 plus 8, that's a number bigger than 10. And add 8 plus 4, that's a number bigger than 10. So you can see here that this is a different type of problem that we dealt with in the previous video. If you look at the first digits on both numbers, then you add those together, you get a number less than 10. In all cases, that is correct. So the way to approach that is kind of the way we did on the previous video. You look at the first two numbers, you add them together, you get, in this case, you get 8. But you know that when you add these two numbers together, you get a number bigger than 10, so you have to add 1 to that. 8 plus 1 gives me 9, and I plug that down here. And now 4 plus 7 is, how much more do you need to add to 7 to get 10? You need to add 3 more. So you subtract 3 from the 4 to make that 10. That leaves you with 1, that gives you 11. But the 10 was already given to the first number. You now have one number left. That's the one which you add over here. What did I just say? That seemed kind of complicated, didn't it? Well, let's explain what we just did. I looked at the first two numbers and I added those together. That gives me 40 plus 40, which was 80. Then I looked at the next two numbers and I realized that that will add up to more than 10. So I add another 10 to that. That gives me 90. That's where the 9 came from. Now I'll look at 4 plus 7. What I realized here was I needed 3 more to the 7 to get 10. This became 7 plus 3, which is 10. I subtracted 3 from the 4, which gave me 1. Add that together, gave me 11. But then I realized I already gave the 10 from that over here to make that into a 90, and all I had left was a 1 to add to the 90 to get 91. So that's kind of the way you want to think about a problem like that. Let's try it again in the next problem, see if that works for us. 3 plus 2 is 5. So I would write 50 here. However, the 5 plus 9 is bigger than 10, so I add, have to add another 10 to that. So 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 gives me 6. Now look at the last two numbers, 5 plus 9. I take 1 away from the 5 to make that a 10, which gave that to be 60. I subtract 1 from the 5, that gives me a 4, so I put 64 down. Again, how did we do that? We looked at 30 plus 20. Look at the first two numbers. That gives me 50. But I have to add 10 more because I know that these two together will add up to more than 10. So I add another 10 to that to give me 60. And that's where the 6 came from. So now I had 5 plus 9. I needed one more to the 9 to make that a 10. So 9, 9 plus 1 equals 10, which is the 10 that went here. I subtracted the 1 from the 5. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Add that to the 60 to give me 64. Maybe it's beginning to make sense now. Let's try another one, and by repetition, we'll see that this works pretty quickly. 20 plus 20. 2 plus 2 is 4. That gives me 40. But however, 6 plus 8 is more than 10. So 40 plus 10 gives me 50. I put down the 5. 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8. What that means is I needed 2 more to the 8 to give me a 10. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, which was that made the 4 into a 5 here. And now I take the 2 away from 6, that gives me a 4, and I add the 4 over here to make that a 54. Again, quickly, 20 plus 20 is 40, plus another 10 is 50. 6 plus 8, that gave me 2 more for 8, that gives me 10. Subtract the 2 from 6, gives me 4. So instead of writing 14, I take the 4 and write it here. Finally, in our last attempt here, we have 78 plus 14. Well, 7 plus 1 gives me 8. However, 8 plus 4 is more than 10. So instead of writing 8, I write a 9. What I just did was I had 70 plus 10 gives me 80. But since 8 plus 4 is more than 10, I have to add another 10 to that to give me 90. And that's where the 9 came from. Now we take 8 plus 4. 8, add 2 more to 8. I get 10. That's where this came from. That's the 10 over here. And that means that 4 minus 2, because I, I took 2 from the 4 to make this into 10, I have 2 left now, and that goes over here. The number is 92. So that's how you work through these types of problems. Let's try another one and see if we can do it now. And let's try 36 plus 
48. Here you notice that 30 plus 40, 3 plus 4, would give me 70. However, since 6 plus 8 is more than 10, you will, we need to add another 10 to that, that becomes 80. What did we just do? We took the 30 plus the 40, that gave me 70, but realizing that 6 plus 8 is going to be more than 10, I take another 10 and add that to the 70 to give me 80. That's where the 8 came from. And now when I go back to here, 6 plus 8, notice I need another 2 to make this into a 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Where did that 2 come from? I subtract that from the 6. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. The 10 was added here to make that 80. And the 4 is what's left that goes over here to make that into an 84. And that's how I tend to think about when I add numbers like that. I simply go to the first two and go 30 plus 40, that's 70. Oh, that's going to be more than 10. Add another 10 to that, that makes it 80. What do I have left when I add 8 plus 6 together and I take 10 away because 8 plus 2 is 10. I take that away. I have left 6 minus 2 gives me 4. I put the 4 there and that's how I come up with the answer quickly in my brain. Initially, you may say, hmm, that seems like a lot of work and very complicated to do a simple problem like this. However, after lots of practice, it'll become a lot easier. Typically what you would do is you come over here and you write 36 plus 48, and then you go 6 plus 8, what is that equal to? You go 6 plus 8 is 14, you write down the 4, you remember 1, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and you come up with 84, and then you write down 84. So that's how we traditionally do it. We have to take a piece of paper and write it by, by hand. However, you can do this very quickly in your head. You can say 30 plus 40 is 70, but those two together add up to more than 10. That makes 80. Write down the 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. You already used the 10. You're left with 4. You put a 4 there. And very quickly, over time, as you practice, you can do this quickly without having to write anything down. You just look at the number and you write down the answer. And once you can do that, you can do math like this a lot faster.